Hey, hello and welcome back to this channel. In 2018, I made a video tutorial on how to update the BIOS on the ASUS ROG Strix B350F gaming motherboard. A few years later, in August 2021 to be exact, ASUS issued a BIOS update for its motherboard so that by default it supports the latest Windows 11 operating system. So I decided to refresh the video tutorial on how to update the BIOS on ASUS ROG motherboards, especially on the AMD platform. If you have seen my previous video regarding the BIOS update tutorial, the method is not much different. Okay, stay tuned. All you need before starting is a flash drive to store the BIOS file. Capacity doesn't really matter, I use an old flash drive with a capacity of 2GB. You can also save the BIOS file on the internal drive. Then insert the flash drive into the USB port on the motherboard. After the flash drive is detected on the PC, right-click on the flash drive, select Properties, then check, make sure the file system is FAT32. After the flash drive is ready, you can download the BIOS file on the ASUS official website. Make sure the BIOS file that you download matches the type and model of your motherboard. In this example, I will download the BIOS file for the ASUS ROG Strix B350F gaming motherboard. When you have finished selecting your motherboard model, click the BIOS and firmware section. That's where you can download the BIOS file. As you can see, for the ROG Strix B350F gaming motherboard model, there is a BIOS update available version 5606. This BIOS version support Windows 11 by default, no settings changes required in the UEFI BIOS. Now click the download button. As you can see, the downloaded BIOS file has a .zip file extension. All you need to do is open the zip file, then extract the file with the .cap extension to the USB flash drive that you have prepared. There will be two files in the zip file. One BIOS file with a .cap file extension. The other is an application file called BIOS Renamer with an .x file extension. To update this BIOS we only need a BIOS file with the extension .cap. Ignore the BIOS Renamer application because we don't need it, unless you want to use USB flashback BIOS. Not all ASUS motherboards support USB flashback BIOS. After everything is ready you can start updating or flashing the BIOS firmware. We will update using ASUS EZ Flash Utility on UEFI BIOS. All you need to do is enter the BIOS settings on the motherboard. First, restart your computer to enter BIOS setting. When the boot logo appears, you can enter the UEFI BIOS settings by pressing the F2 or DEL key on the keyboard. After entering the UEFI BIOS utility, click on the Tools section. Then click ASUS EZ Flash 3 Utility. Then the EZ Flash 3 update box will appear. In the Please select the BIOS Update Method section, select via Storage Devices. Click Next. Here you can select the USB flash drive that you use to store the BIOS file. If you have selected the USB flash drive you are using, make sure the BIOS file with the .cap extension is there and can be detected. If you are sure the BIOS file is correct, click the file. A warning will appear, if you activate BitLocker in Windows make sure you back up your recovery key and suspend BitLocker in Windows first. Click Yes. After that another warning will appear do you want to read this file? Click Yes. Do you really want to update BIOS? Yes yes. Oh, I almost forgot, in the process of updating or flashing the BIOS, make sure the PC doesn't turn off in the middle of the process. Make sure the electricity in your home is stable or does not black out during the BIOS update process. If the BIOS update process fails, the motherboard can die and can't turn on again. The BIOS update process will take a few minutes. If a message like this appears, it means, congratulations, the BIOS update has been successful, click OK. The system will restart, then you will be asked to set your BIOS. 
press F1 on your keyboard to run BIO setup. If you do not want to make settings or make changes to the BIOS settings, you can directly exit BIOS settings and boot into Windows OS. To do this, click the exit section and then click save changes and reset, or click discard changes and exit. Alright, that's it for this tutorial video. I hope this video tutorial is useful for you. Thank you.